In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make an entity glow depending on how close you're standing to it. Start by placing an officer into your level. You can get to the database view by clicking the little icon DB which stands for database. Next load up the US XML and it should look something like this. You can scroll down through crew to reach officer one and you can click and drag this into your level. Create a flow graph to calculate distance. I'm going to make this on the officer to make it easy so just scroll down the sidebar here and click create. You can give the group name any name you want, it doesn't really matter. In this case I'm calling it glow. Next I'm going to add two nodes, entity pos. I'm going to need two because I want one for the local player and one for the officer. Then I'm going to place a node called game local player. This basically gives the entity ID of the local player and I'm going to assign that to my first entity pos. The second entity pos I'm going to assign to the selected entity which is the officer. Now that we can get the position of our two entities, the officer and the local player, we're going to subtract those two positions to get the distance in an XYZ format. This vector 3 distance in XYZ format isn't much use to us, so we can change that into a straight line distance or a single distance using a node called VEC3 magnitude. I'm just going to place it here and connect the links. Next I'm going to place a math reciprocal node. This will take any incoming large value and output it as a small value and vice versa, it will take small values and output them as large values. Next I'm going to add a math multiply node. This will just allow me to control the sensitivity of the glow. I'm going to set this factor to 10. Now we get to the node which is actually going to change the glow of our entity. Add a node called Entity Material Param. Assign the officer entity to this node. Next we need to find the submaterial ID of our officer and we can do that by browsing the material editor. You can find it under objects, characters, human, US and then officer. And the submaterial ID we are looking for is body which is number 11. Now back to the flow graph we need to change the submaterial ID to 11 minus 1 which is 10. The reason why we have to do this is uh, because sometimes the game engine likes to start counting from zero. Next, browse param floats and select glow from the list. Then we can connect our dynamic variable to the value float input. Now let's test this out by playing the level. Um, what should happen is, as we walk closer to our officer, he should start glowing brighter. And as we go further away, the glow should diminish. That concludes the tutorial for today. You can check out more on my YouTube channel and the blog.